Hi, in this lesson, we are going to see how to find local maximum and local minimum. This is a step number six of sketching the curve. And we are going to see concavity up and concavity down and point of inflection. This is step number seven. We have already seen, see my previous videos, uh, lesson 1 to 5, find the domain, find the intercept, find the symmetry, find the um, asymptote and find the intervals of increase and intervals of decrease. These five uh, lessons we have seen in, in our previous videos. Now step number 6 and step number 7 we are going to see with the five examples. And my next lesson will come step number 6 and 7 with the another five examples. Let us see. Now, what to know? What to find? Local maximum or local minimum. Okay. This is what is the gradient of this line? One horizontal line. It is zero, right? What is maximum? This is the maximum point. This is not the maximum point. In this curve, which is the maximum point? This is not. This is not. This is. So that is the point. This is the maximum point. In this curve, what is the minimum point? This is the minimum point. Okay. So many maximum point or minimum point, what is the gradient? That is, gradient is 0. That is, f plus x is equal to 0. So if you find f plus x and then equal to, to 0, you will find maximum or minimum. But you don't know whether it is maximum or minimum. For both cases, f dash x is equal to 0. Okay. For that, what is maximum? What is minimum? You have to do again differentiate f2 dash x. If it is negative, it is maximum. If f2 dash s is positive, it is minimum. Don't get confused. If it is negative, if it is negative, it is maximum. If it is positive, it is minimum. Okay. Let us see. Now, we are going to see with the five examples uh, to find what? Local maximum, minimum and concavity up concavity down and point of inflection. Let us see. f of x. This is the example number 1. f of x is x cube plus x. I already differentiated 3x squared plus 1. Okay. 3x squared plus 1 will be equal to 0. Make it equal to 0. It cannot be. Why? 3x squared equal to minus 1. The x squared is always positive. So, there is no local maximum, no local minimum. For f of x, uh, x cube plus x, f dash x is 3x squared plus 1, 3x squared plus 1 cannot be equal to 0. So, there is no local maximum, no local minimum, none. Okay, good. Now, what is our next step to find? Concavity up. What is meant by concavity up? This is, in one curve you have seen it. Like this means concavity up. Like this means concavity down. Or in a simple way we can tell this is the concavity up, this is the concavity down. Okay. Another rule. In F2 dash x, if F2 dash x is positive, positive, Okay, that is different. Now, local maximum minimum, you leave that. Now, come here to concavity up and down. If f2 dash x is, when f2 dash x is positive, when? The, when f2 dash x is positive? 6x. That time, it is concavity up. Got it? Okay. Here, f2 dash x is 6x. When it is up? 
when it is positive, when the axis greater than zero, when the axis greater than zero, you have two dots axis positive. So zero to infinity, it is increasing. Okay, when the two dots is negative, when the axis negative, when minus infinity to zero, when minus infinity to zero, it is decreasing. Got it? So the concavity up is zero to infinity. Concavity down is minus infinity to zero. And point of inflection, point of inflection is when concavity up and down, where it is changes, that is called point of inflection. It is zero comma zero. So point of inflection is what? Inflection point zero comma zero. I repeat f of x is equal to x cube plus x. In that term, if you differentiate f dx x is equal to 3x squared plus 1, 3x squared plus 1 cannot be equal to 0. So there is no, if it is equal to 0 only, we can find local maximum or minimum. So there is no local maximum, no local minimum. So the curve is going directly. Uh, then f2 dx x is equal to 6x. If you have 2 dash x is equal to 6, as if you differentiate, this will come. When f2 dash x is positive, when f2 dash x is positive, it is concavity of 6x. For example, positive number, any one number other than 0, you tell me 1. So 6 times 1, 6. So when it is 6, it is positive. So 0 to infinity. When it is less than 0, 6x it will be negative. So from this point, we can guess it out because we can figure it out. It is the curve 0 to infinity. 0 to infinity. It is concavity up. 0 to infinity. 0 to infinity. Concavity up. Infinity to 0. Concavity down. Got it? We will see in another lesson, complete with all the details, step 1 to step 7 and how to draw the graph. This will, my next lesson follows. Okay, note it down for f of x. The example number 2 is f of x is equal to x minus x squared over x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay. This if you differentiate f dash x is equal to 2 over x minus 2 whole squared. Okay. Here you can make it to f dash x is equal to 0. It cannot be. x minus 2 square is always positive. So here also f dash x is, is equal to not cannot be equal to 0. So there is no local maximum, no local minimum, none. Okay, if we differentiate again, uh, minus 4 over x minus 2 cube. Okay, when it is negative will come, when it is negative will come, In, when it is positive, when it is negative, you have 2 dash x. This is positive. Minus 4 is, uh, minus 4 is negative. So here if it is negative, since it is cube, it is not square. Okay. So if x is less than 2, less than 2 means, um, if x is 1, 0 or minus 1, this will be again negative. So negative over negative will be positive. Got it? I will rewrite. Minus 4 over 
minus 4 over x minus 2 cube. Okay. When it when f2 dash, this is f2 dash, when this will be positive, here already negative. So denominator if it is negative, then what will happen? F2 dash s is positive. Here it is cube, it is not the square. So if it is odd number, here x minus 2 will be negative when, when x is less than 2. So when x is less than 2, x minus 2 is less than 2. Okay, then x minus 2 cube is also, uh, when x is less than 2, x minus 2 is negative. Then x minus 2 whole cube is also negative. Then over minus 4 over x minus 2 whole cube will be positive. So when x is less than 2, x minus 2 is less than 0. Then x minus 2 whole cube is less than 0. Less than 0 means negative. Then minus 4 over x minus 2 whole cube will be positive. So f2 dash x is positive when x is less than 2. So minus infinity to 2, two concavity up. Minus infinity to 2, concavity up. But here one restriction is that uh, its domain is not equal to 1. There is one hole is there. So minus infinity to 1, then 1 to 2, concavity up. Then concavity, when it will be f2 does axis. When f2 dash x will be negative, when that time concavity down, okay, when minus 4, okay, so numerator is always negative because it put, uh, it was minus 4. So here x minus 2 cube should be positive, x minus 2 cube is positive means x minus 2 should be positive then only if when x minus 2 will be positive when x is greater than 2 got it yeah concavity down concavity down when will happen when f2 dash x is negative okay when f2 dash is negative this is a minus 4 over x minus 2 whole cube when um, my numerator is always minus 4 always negative okay Denominator is x minus 2 whole cube. Okay, denominator x minus 2 whole cube means uh, denominator should be positive. Then only this fraction will be negative. So denominator x minus 2 cube is positive means x minus 2 should be positive. Then x should be greater than 2. So 2 to infinity concavity down when when 2 to infinity what will happen f2 dash x will be negative so it is concavity down note it down Third one, f of x is equal to x times x minus 4 whole cube. If we differentiate, f dash x, 4 times x minus 1 times x minus 4 square. If you again differentiate, f2 dash is equal to 12 x minus 2 x minus 4. I already found out. Okay, now we will come. We want to find local maximum. Local maximum or minimum, it should be equal to 0. It can be not like previous example because when it be, when will it be zero? When x is equal to one or x is equal to four, it can be zero. 
So F two dx x is zero when x is equal to one and x is equal to four. Okay. So x is equal to one and four. Either it is local maximum or minimum, or sometimes it is point of inflection. What is the condition if it is maximum? d squared y by d x squared is should be negative if it is maximum. Okay. Here, what is the d squared y by d x squared? Twelve x minus two x minus four. Substitute one here. Twelve one minus two one minus four. What will happen? Twelve minus one minus three. It is thirty six. Thirty six is positive. So y axis for the one is minimum. Then substitute four. You understand? When you substitute the x values in f two dash x, if it is positive, it is minimum. If it is negative, it is maximum. If it is zero, it is point of inflection. Okay. If you substitute four here, twelve four minus two. Four minus four, it is zero. So this is called point of inflection. Inflection point. Okay. Okay. Now we found y x is equal to one is minimum. Don't put only one. Just substitute the minimum point. Minimum point. That one you have to subtract. Y of x x equal to zero. You find x values. That x values you substitute in Y of two dash x, whether it is positive or negative. Find out. Then that value, that x value, you substitute in Y of four x. If you substitute one one minus four cube minus twenty seven. One that is one minus three cube. Minus three cube is minus twenty seven times one. So the minimum point is one comma minus twenty seven. There is no maximum point. There is an inflection point. We can find out inflection point here also. At the same time, when the next step concavity up and down, that also we are going to find. Now, concavity up and down. Note it down. You got it. I'm going to erase it. Note it down. Now, concavity up. When concavity up will happen? When Y of two dash x is positive, so twelve is always positive. Y x minus two is positive when y x is greater than one minute. We will see it. Y x minus four. Okay, here there are two cases. One is y x minus two, another is y x minus four. When y x is less than two, twelve is always positive. Here, what will happen? When x is less than two, it is negative. Because if, if I suppose x is one, one minus two is negative. Here also, what will happen? One minus four is negative. So negative, negative. So what will happen? You have to discuss. Since it is both negative, it is positive. Okay. When x is, this is the case number one. Case number two is between. When x is two to four. Suppose, for example, x is three. How I choose this one? From this, I am choosing this one, and then in between, I am choosing, and then greater than I am choosing. When x is two to four, for example, three. Three means three minus two. One is positive. Here, negative. So, y of two dash is negative. Why? Minus plus minus multiply. Negative will come. 
Then the fourth case, when x is greater than 4, for example 5, 5 minus 2 is 3, 12 times 3 is positive, 5 minus 4, 1, it is positive. So f2 dash x is also positive. So what you got it? So when x is less than 2, that means minus infinity to 2, I will write it here, minus infinity to 2, f2 dash x is positive, that means concavity up. When x is greater than 4, when 4 to infinity, what is called concavity up, because f2 dash is positive. When x is 2 to 4, f2 dash x is negative, concavity down. See it? When x is less than 2, negative, negative, positive. When x is 2 to 4, positive, negative. If you multiply, negative will come. Then positive, positive. When x is greater than 4, positive will come 4 to infinity. I hope you got it. Now let us see another examples. Note it down. This is the fourth example. f of x is equal to x over square root of x squared plus 1. f dash x is 1 over x squared plus 1 power 3 by 2. This cannot be 0. Because x squared is positive plus 1 is positive. x squared is positive plus 1 is positive. So this cannot be 0. So there is no local maximum, no local minimum. f2 dash x. f2 dash x is minus 3, this is very simple, f2 dx is minus 3x over x square plus 1, 5 over 2. This always positive, so focus here, already minus is there. So when x is less than 0, minus 3x will be positive. When minus 3x is positive, f2 dash x will be positive because the denominator is always positive due to x squared plus 1. f2 dash x is positive. So it is concavity up. Concavity up when will happen? When x is less than 0. So concavity up is minus infinity to 0. That is when x is less than 0. When concavity down will happen, when x is greater than 0, concavity down will happen. When x is greater than 0, minus 3x will be less than 0. Then f2 dash x will be less than 0. Then concavity down can happen. Concavity down is 0 to infinity. Now let us see the fifth example. f of x is 2x squared over x squared minus 1. f dash x is minus 4x over x squared minus 1 whole squared. f2 dash x is 12x squared plus 4 over x squared minus 1 cube. Okay. Now, what is our aim? To find maximum or minimum. Maximum minimum, what is the rule? f dash x should be 0. So, f dash is equal to 0 means minus 4x over x squared minus 1 whole squared is 0. 
when will it be zero x squared minus one whole squared is positive number uh, so it cannot be uh, zero now x can be zero so f dash x is equal to zero when x is equal to zero so okay. when x is equal to zero whether it is maximum or minimum we don't know so we have to put that the x is equal to zero value in f2 dash x f2 dash x is 12 x squared plus 4 12 times 0 is 0 plus 4 uh, x 0 minus 1 cube 4 over minus 1 minus 4 so it is negative so it is maximum got it so it is a maximum then what is the maximum value that you have to put it in f of x 2 times 0 0 minus 1 2 over uh, 0 over minus 1 is 0 so it is 0 so maximum value is 0 comma 0 so this can be the possible curve next one part of the curve we have found out next is concavity up and down i, I repeat once once again for the local maximum minimum f dash x equal to 0 minus 4x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 uh, then only f dash x will be 0 that i substitute in f2 dash x i got negative so it is maximum Okay, when f2 dax x is positive, that time concavity up. When it is positive, 12 x squared plus 4 is positive. Okay, x squared minus 12 x squared plus 4 always positive. Because 12 is positive, x squared is positive, plus 4 is positive. So leave that. Now focus in the denominator. Denominator is x squared minus 1 cube is there. So, Depending upon the x value, that denominator will change. The denominator changes, value will changes, then uh, whole f to x value will change. Okay. When x squared minus 1 cube is positive, f2 dash x will be positive. Then concavity up. Okay. When it will be positive, x squared minus 1 cube if you take cubic root x squared minus 1 will be positive when x squared is greater than 1 when x is greater than or modulus when x is modulus of 1 x squared minus 1 cube will be positive totally f2 dx is positive so when x is equal to, then f2 dx x will be positive. So, concavity up will happen. Concavity up means, so it is in between when x is less than minus 1, when x is greater than 1. Note it down. When modulus of x is less than 1, it will be negative. So, concavity down will happen. When minus 1 to 1, concavity down happen. This we already proved in uh, what is called a local maximum or minimum. This is concavity down. You see, this is concavity down. Okay. So, most possibly... We have already in the step 1 to 4 we found the remaining things. The most possibly this will be like that it will be there. Okay. We are going to, I am going to take lesson, next lesson with the, all the seven guidelines. I am going to illustrate all the examples. Seven guidelines results. Okay. I will have the results and with the results how to draw the graph. This you will see it in my next video. Thank you for watching my 5 examples. Remaining 5 examples I am going to post again. Then I am going to post cumulative of my 7 lessons. I will have the uh, 10 examples results. 10 examples, 7 results. And then with that result how to draw the graph. Thank you for watching my videos. Please share uh, my video with your friends and uh, give your comments your comments are more valuable to me i am uh, it will motivate me to do more thank you